need somebody like that. We can ride in the Kelly. We can go swim out to the city on me. We can ride in the Kelly. so sorry that there was no vlog last week your girl was i don't want to say i was anxious because i feel like i experienced real anxiety in 2022 and this definitely wasn't it so i think i'm just gonna use the word unsettled i was just very unsettled um truth be told it wasn't my best of weeks on monday last week i went to go see the breast specialist because my report had come back the previous week inconclusive and um, i went to go see her to figure out what's the next step is because the labs are calling me wanting to perform more tests which are gonna cost like 11.5 and yet my first invoice was like 10.3 and that isn't even with the biopsy and ultrasound fees so i went to go see her she was amazing she was so nice and um it was actually a great appointment i think me being unsettled just came from last week was just a lot to say the least like there was just a whole lot going on which i'm probably gonna unpack later we'll see but anyways right now i have to go fix up my nails because my nails are looking very ghetto they actually don't look too bad i think that's why i really love how nitty does french because the base matches my actual nail color so if you don't look look it's been four weeks and they still look decent however um i need to create content that's gonna show my nails up close and i don't want it to be like looking tacky and submitting it to to the clients when my nails are chipping and stuff like that so we're gonna go get our nails done you guys saw me tidying up because like i said last week was a lot and one thing about my environment it will mirror how i'm feeling inside so there's just a lot going on and i'm actually not really done tidying up but then this will have to do for now because i do have my nail appointment so without rambling anymore let's go get these nails fixed besties so gorgeous but that is not why i'm cheesing you guys already know when i'm smiling like a fool and i'm in the kitchen 
it means yesterday's price is not today's price. So, um, the Country Road purchase, I actually made it last week, but I didn't unbox because um, I was like, okay, I need to unbox with the besties. And also because my kettle has been giving me problems. So, I was like, okay, I just kept it in the bag and kept it in my room and I was like, okay, I'll unbox, I'll unbox, I'll unbox. So, my kids was giving me problems and I'm like, I'm only going to unbox what I bought from Country Roads when I get a new kettle. So, if you've been here, then you know that this kettle is from Checkers. So, zooming right in, you guys can see this cute little baby isn't so cute anymore like she has hyperpigmentation scarring there's a lot going on and what had actually happened was when you boil water and the pot is not full like even if it's just halfway um it ends up getting brown like turning brown so when auntie came she's like oh what do you want me to do so i was like okay just try vim because i bought vim on chicken 6060 as soon as she tried to use Vim, it was chai, like it was just chai and it was scratched and everything like that. And now it just cheapens the look of my kitchen. I was like, ain't no way, she has to go. The one time I asked people to guess what I got, everybody was like guessing smeg and whatever. Let the jury know that I'm not a huge fan of smeg and especially the kettles because there's something about a whistling kettle that just screams luxury. Like, you know, if you watch Architecture, oh, English Clarissa, Architectural Digest. I love that's my favorite YouTube channel on the planet. If I've ever told you that your channel is my favorite, I probably lied because Architectural Digest, my favorite YouTube channel. It's like a channel where they show different celebrities' houses and like the interior design, the architects, uh, architecture. So a lot of them in their kitchens, they have like that pot filling tap, obviously meaning that they have whistling kettles. And even in Sky Jackson's house tour, I think I did see her with a kettle that I'm about to show you guys. So your girl went ahead and got herself this is actually an actual reveal because they gave me such a boring bag. I thought they were going to give me like the bag of the brand. But then everybody drum roll please. Drum roll please. Girl, you better. Everybody scream. Everybody scream. What do you even mean? Like yesterday's price is not today's price. Like I thought I'd only have Le Creuset anything in my house like probably what three four five years down the line but i was like nah let me start my le creuset collection and get me a whistling kettle okay there we go i got me a gray black kind of kettle well the color on the actual website is this but then this is what it looks like this is what the gray looks like like oh guys it's giving yesterday's price is not today's price you can even feel just like the quality of it like this is definitely not checkers this is definitely like this this is not checkers and it even comes with like a cute little pamphlet oh the inside i'm not sure if you guys can see it's like a granite kind of i hope she'll focus inside because i want you guys to see what it's like inside. Oh! She's so perfect. As my fave Tati would say, a new bombshell has entered the villa. Like, we need to start Love Island for my kitchenware items because what do you even mean? <laughs> Yesterday's price is not today's price. Like, what do you even mean? Oh, guys, sorry. I'm just, I'm just so excited. How long have I been? Oh my goodness, six minutes of me geeking over this kettle because that's just how excited I am. I'm gonna sleep like this tonight. I'm gonna sleep with my new kettle like this tonight. <laughs> I'm screaming. Anyways, moving right along. It looks so perfect on my stove. Oh, guys, sorry. But anyways, moving right along from Le Creuset. If Le Creuset is watching this, you better sponsor me, girl. You, you better sponsor me, girl. But, um, 
moving right along like every time i walk into someone's kitchen and i see the country road dish plots my heart loosely just melts because yes luxury so i went ahead and got me two sets first i got the ones that everybody has these conventional ones i think we've seen everybody with these ones they're really cute very simple and then i went ahead and said let me get the toweling dishcloths because these are really pretty and i went to go visit my neighbor the one time and she had these and they just looked so good they match the kitchen so well obviously we have the same aesthetic of kitchen and i'm like girl i am literally gonna copy you and she said go ahead but anyway we're gonna cook now because last week when i was down bad not even down bad down and settled <laughs> My vocabulary is in dire need of help, guys. So, so scary. But anyways, as I was down and settled, I um, was obviously Uber eating majority of the time. You guys know I don't like Uber eats food. Only do it when I absolutely have to. So today I was like, hmm. That's when I stopped by Woolworths. I was like, hmm, let me just cook myself a really nice meal just because I deserve it, period. So I'm still not sure if I'm going to make the steak I picked up or the chicken. But then I do know I'm going to make potato bake. But while I'm still deciding, let's get to cooking. Oh my goodness, I just feel so... It's 
oriented. It's about 6.45 in the morning. Um, these days I'm actually waking up at 6 a.m. Unlike 5 a.m. Because the sun rises quite late. Like from like the sun starts rising. Like today the sun rose at like 24 past 6 thereabouts. Um, so 6 a.m. is the new 5 a.m. <laughs> I just feel so out of it. But then I woke up, took a shower try to do my hair and I'm about to do my makeup but I'm gonna be doing it on camera you guys are gonna miss that though because I'm doing it for a real we are working with Victor and Will once again woo, 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 woo. everybody scream yay, yay, yay. <laughs> ah, guys don't match my energy it's in the morning and I'm like fishing for energy um, this time they sent me such a cute note I don't think the last time I got a note actually um, so cute i love seeing handwritten notes like you know how brands send the printed ones i also love those because it's giving official but then like there's something about a handwritten note that just screams love and it's the new tiger lily fragrance that we are creating content for and um uh, i was supposed to have someone come and shoot for me but then that didn't happen so it really is just me I thought I'd show you guys like the behind the scenes of me shooting content and all of that good stuff but unfortunately that might not happen I'll probably just try to take you along like bits and pieces but that's not gonna happen but what I'm actually gonna do is like a cute little get ready with me type vibe but I'm overthinking it. But yeah, a cute little get ready with me type vibe. That's what I'm going for. And then today we actually have quite a bit. Is today my meeting? Today's not my meeting. Today we have Connect Group. Today we have Connect Group, which is home cell later on in the day. And earlier Tuesday. I need to check my calendar. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh, tomorrow I'm hosting friends for the first time. So I need to sort out the admin around that. Probably shop for a few things. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that today or tomorrow. But we will see. But then without rambling anymore, I don't want to waste time with recording this. I feel like my energy is coming and this is a good thing. So <laughs> let me shoot my content. One hour later. <laughs> not the panty liners, just making a feature. But besties of my... Victor, you actually did this! <laughs> but the Victor in this case being me. So we're still in the middle of recording. I'm about to change into the outfit that I'm changing into for my get ready with me. And like, I am gagged at my makeup. You guys are probably sick of me right now. Probably like Clarissa drop that makeup routine right now. But I'm, it's so funny because I'm still not confident. Like, I look at myself right now, I look good, and like I'm taking pictures, and like I literally am just ah, I'm screaming at my face. But then, time to record a makeup routine, I get so nervous. But anyways, just can't show you guys my face. About to get dressed, and this perfume smells so good. I sprayed quite a bit because I was taking many takes and now it just smells so scrumptious in here. Like this is, this is not a no promo tip guys. She smells delicious and scrumptious. Um, so I'm gonna change. But look at my face. Look at my face for a bit. Eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Are you full yet? Are you full? Are you, are you satisfied? Are you satisfied? I'm <laughs> like... Okay. Hmm. Huge appetites because I be eating. Period. Okay, Clarissa. We don't want the coffee beans to think we're conceited. So let me actually <laughs> put on my outfit and record this. Finish this. Get ready with me. One eternity later. Oh, I switched off. <laughs> I'm not serious. Can you guys see me? Imagine if I vlogged with this lens every day. Like it would literally give cinematography. So this is actually the 56 Sigma lens that I got for like 7K with my next ad voucher back in 2022, 2021, 2021. And like, oh, I love this. So this is the lens I use for my reels so with youtube next up we got like a fifteen thousand rand voucher to like 
get equipment and stuff and this lens was such an investment this is a lens that i use for recording my reels and stuff but i just got done recording and i realized i still had this this lens on so i thought i'd just tell you guys the lens i used to record my reels i still haven't eaten my stomach is inside out it's eating itself right now um it's about it's lunchtime now and i've been up since six just recording i attended a meeting remember how i thought i didn't have a meeting i had a meeting with my partner manager and she said i should tell you guys to subscribe because it does help me like we're looking at my analytics and stuff like that and i realized that i never ever actually nudge you guys to subscribe and my analytics show that there's so many of you who keep coming back to watch but you're just not subscribing guys i'm trying to reach 200k so if you guys could just do me a solid and subscribe i'd love that but i want to sit down edit Whew. and they say content creation is not a real job like i need whoever said that to be stoned because what the heck what the heck for real a few moments later once done recording my reel, I sat down to edit and I realized that I did have a therapy session scheduled for today that I had in fact forgotten about. But then despite me having a lot of work on my plate, I made sure to attend the session because I did mention that therapy is something I'm trying to be very intentional with this year. The past few weeks have not been easy for me. You guys have seen that I haven't posted consistently, which is very unlike me. Work has been getting to me, dealing with my health and my personal life as well. And I've always mentioned that therapy has played a huge role in helping me get out of a funk by helping me to manage my stress helping me to regain some motivation and just get back on track in all aspects of my life and with that i'm happy to announce better help as a sponsor of today's video BetterHelp makes starting therapy a whole lot easier. It lets you have therapy sessions as a phone call, as a video chat, or even messaging. You get to pick whatever is more comfortable for you. Click the link in the description box below to get started on your therapy journey with 10% off your first month. As you sign up, you will see that BetterHelp can match you to one of over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location, which gives you access to a wider range of expertise than what may be available in your city. To get started, you will fill out a questionnaire that will ask you questions about what challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like and then BetterHelp can match you with a therapist. In most cases, you'll be matched within 48 hours, and from there, you can schedule therapy sessions at a time that's convenient for you. And if you feel like your therapist isn't a great fit, you can switch therapists with a click of a button in your settings at no additional cost. Join over 4 million people who've used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life. Click the link in the description box or visit betterhelp.com forward slash coffee no milk. Clicking this link helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. A few minutes later. Hey besties, please give me grace. Um, I feel like the day is over already. What time is it? It's freaking half past 5 p.m. And I feel like I haven't really managed to bring you along today like I wanted to. But then content consumed me. Like when you guys see these campaigns go live. Like today was Victor and Rolf. When you guys see the campaigns, Victor and Rolf, Dub, Nivea. Like I need you guys to, you know, treat me like an egg. Because I've been up since 6 working on one campaign the whole day. And um sure i know some people will be like oh why don't you just hire someone to help you out but then like i'm someone who's so big on return on investment so like i always weigh how much a brand is paying me and then like what i've personally like little things i've bought for the content and then i'm just thinking paying someone an extra two four k to help me create content ugh, sometimes i just like i feel like it's not worth it especially because i know i can create like if i put my mind to something like today's real the victor and rolf real you guys are gonna see it next week it is gorgeous like i think it's stunning so anyways um enough talk talk about content it's whole o'clock it's whole o'clock and this one is 
super special because um my cousin from the netherlands is around there's a family wedding which i'm obviously not attending because i am a certified deadbeat family member but that's a story for another day so <laughs> My cousin is here. Love her loads. Shout out Desiree. Love you so much. So I sent her to get me like international makeup and you guys know I already spent a pretty penny on makeup that I could get locally but there was still stuff which I used in my class that I couldn't get locally that I really wanted. Like I improvised on some things like I showed you guys for the Fenty Beauty I mean, for the milk primer we, we used, I ended up getting Fenty Beauty. But then there's certain things I just couldn't compromise on. So, first of all, I'm screaming. First of all, is a Morphe palette. Like 2016, 2015, Clarissa, who would watch YouTubers, is gagged. Like, what do you even mean I have a Morphe palette? Like, I remember always seeing the overseas girlies overseas meaning uk us because i am in south africa um always seeing them like using morphe palettes and it just looks so official like even now when you go to when you book a makeup artist they usually have the morphe palettes so now it's purely giving makeup artists and now <laughs> obviously all the uche watches omg the last time Okay, let me first get this out of the way. All the Uche watches, I got me some Too Faced Born This Way. So I already had one from the last time my cousin came. I bought one concealer. But then now, after watching Uche's tutorials and Fatima as well, and also my class, we also use Too Faced concealers. These concealers are seamless. Can you see my under eye? I use Too Faced. I mixed it with LA Girl because like I needed a brighter one and I didn't want to open these before showing you guys first so I had to use LA Girl today. But then today is my last day using LA Girl because I'm a Too Faced girly. Like everybody scream. These concealers are everything. So these are not available in South Africa as yet. However, even though I got them overseas they're still expensive like they're very pricey i think one was like 40 euro if i'm not mistaken and 40 euros like 800 rand so that's like 8 16 24 2.4 on concealers like three concealers 2400 rand whereas you'd probably get three concealers for 300 rand like it's insane but sorry guys my face is an, it, it is an investment i am so sorry so i was saying i cannot believe while I'm fetching the next thing, I cannot believe some of my coffee beans do not know who Uche is. So first of all, let me brag a bit. I do have a collaboration with the Uche Natori, the base queen, because I got to meet her in Kenya. Like we were literally screaming like, oh my goodness, she's right here. And um, bless her heart, she is such an amazing person in real life. And the face beats like a walking filter in real life as well. So, um... Uche is a makeup artist and she's been in the game for a long time before content creation was even a thing and now um, she recently posted on her Instagram stories like her TikTok growth like she's gone viral on TikTok. I feel like she was always, in my head she was always popular but then she's gone viral on TikTok for her makeup routine like it is seamless so if you're like me you know learning makeup trying this thing out trying to figure out what works for you she also does drugstore stuff as well i highly suggest you go check uche out like oh my word but anyways moving right along i went ahead and got myself morphe brushes once again influenced by uche and not even uche but then all the black content creators in the makeup industry jackie Inas, like um keza kobe all the black girlies that we always used to binge watch they always used to use the morphe brushes i think keza kobe used real techniques though and i already have my real techniques but then now i needed morphe brushes so i got this eye obsessed set which is actually 12 eye brushes for like all the makeup looks because i think you can see today if i close my eyes you can see that I didn't quite blend the shimmery color well like one thing Google taught me is that with makeup people shouldn't see where things are starting and stopping like the 
bronzer should melt seamlessly to the concealer which melts seamlessly to the con foundation which melts seamlessly to the contour like you shouldn't see where things are stopping and starting abruptly so i feel like with my eyeshadow i could do better so i did get the brushes and then i got the face the beat brushes these are for the face making sure everything is blended and seamless and um moving right along i got this embryo lace um moisturizing priming thing thing so google did suggest i get this in my class and also at the michlali michlali's malachite skin type event um the makeup artist who was doing the master class also used it and swore by it and i was like okay this is no you can't get this here so i was like let me go ahead and get this because it's very moisturizing i absolutely love it and then um this was just an impulse buy because it's very cheap overseas like elf elf is a drugstore overseas it's like the clicks discount equivalent so it was very cheap and they say it's a dupe for the milk primer that's what fatima says so i was like okay let me just get get it even though i already have a fenty beauty primer this was just me just being just being me <laughs> and then um i also got two extra brushes over and above the morphe brushes these are morphe brushes as well but then they're brushes that are not included in the set so this one is specifically for blending concealer and then this is the under eye bullet for blending under eye concealer so i want to use this one for blending the concealer on my eyes like my base and then this one for blending my under eye and then this also for like you know trip um blurring any hush lines of the concealer so all together that's how many brushes five plus twelve plus two is nineteen i think i hope and then finally another me just being me i got the morphe setting spray only because i've heard good things about this and um i got the benefit one because i was desperate that time but it's really good so even when i got this i was kind of like clarissa now you're just being a bit um what's the word excessive a bit excessive because you already have a really great um setting spray but then like this one also mists like it's even a can like the misting is just it's so satisfying mm, mm, okay i think i'd even go as far as saying that this one actually is better than ooh. Well, it feels better when I spray it, but I think it's more a dewy spray. So now I'm all oily. Nothing a fan cannot fix. But then I do like dewy looks, especially in winter. Like I don't like my makeup being too ashy. So I do like it. And it smells so good. Oh, I am content with my purchases. And all in all, I think all this makeup, like the international makeup was about like 5k. And I probably paid spent like 5k the last time and that is so crazy so i have this saying that i always say to my friends like i swear on my makeup bag now you guys know my makeup is worth like 10k so when i say i swear on my makeup bag i quite literally mean i'm swearing on something that means so much to me and i've invested so much in but anyways the way the face is still so intact mm -mm, why is it greasy or is that just me I think it was just me. Look, I missed my... I think that was just me before. I'm actually not going to wash my makeup off because I really love today's face beat. So I'm going to go to Connect Group looking like the baddie that I am. <gasps> Period. I just want to... Wipe out any oiliness. Probably use the MAC powder actually to just wipe out any oiliness but anyways let me get something to eat so good overnight but not me 
already being one minute late to connect group but i'm sorry i literally haven't eaten the whole day and in the hour i actually miscalculated i only had an hour because church is a bit far from where I, from where i live i only had an hour <laughs> to tidy up and i got carried away and now i hadn't eaten but i'm um, i was literally shaking like i haven't eaten anything since morning like nothing at all i'm trying to think did i even have a sweet or anything oh i did have a banana but that was just about it mm. girl i am starving but then i'm gonna finish eating or try rather i don't want to be more than five minutes late so technically i have like four minutes left to request Munch, 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 and let's go for the next group. I am literally so obsessed with my new watch band like it's giving Daniel Wellington but like Apple because you guys know I before I got the watch I had beef with these watches so I'm like okay let me just get a ladylike band just to like make it a little bit more feminine and not so bentini but anyways this morning I am gonna go get a pedicure that's long overdue I don't know when last I got my pedicure done so we're going to sorbet I have an appointment now I'm actually not running late but I'm just on time and I'm such a person who says early is on time and on time is late so I feel like I'm running late that's why I feel so unsettled already however I also have to go collect my order from at home um, I ordered some shoes and then I I placed them for collection at, at home in Santon so I'm super excited because I've been talking about this running thing and guys it's finally happening I have my running shoes you see how Mika has her, is in her cotton on body bag so obviously you gotta support the girl and I'm gonna go see what cotton on has in terms of like body what is it called? Not body things. What are they called? Gym wear. Sorry, guys. My brain cells. I'm fighting. Like, today, it's me and my two brain cells against the world. Like, I feel so... My mind is not here. We'll talk about that later. But anyways, uh, let's go to this Uber. of me going to the mall obviously it is whole o'clock even though like two of these items I actually got last week but ish guys i really tried i went to bash 
not bash, what is it called? At home to collect my bash order and then stumbled into cotton on kids and I might as well just throw in a disclaimer. I know my scissors looks very ghetto. However, after swiping it cotton on, I looked at Yappy Chef and I said, we're not doing this today. Like there's, there's absolutely no way. But anyways, diving right in. So I actually got this last week in my unsettledness funk. Remember how I said I was like going shopping crazy? So I'm trying to get into my sneaker era. I did tell my Finsta besties, the people on my Finsta, that like, guys, I'm trying to be a sneaker babe. Every time I see Lissetti Jade, every time I see Mini, every time I see Uratile Chapi, every time I see who else? All the sneaker babes, even Sweet Revenge, if I'm not mistaken. I'm like, Carissa, I was destined to live this life. Like, uh, 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 <laughs> they are so gorgeous. They are literally so gorgeous. So I got these at court order. They were a little bit more pricey than getting them from the actual Nike store. Nike, Nike, whatever you guys say. Um, because... Court order is just generally more expensive. But then the Nike store only had size 5 and I'm a size 4. If you guys ever want to gift your bestie, guys, I'm size 4. So I had to go get from court order. The size 5 actually wasn't too big, but I thought, you know what? Like, it's not, these are not like shoes that I'm just gonna wear once and throw away. Like, I really want to be comfortable if I'm gonna commit to a sneaker. So I had to pay the extra few couple of hundred rands to get my size 4 from court order and these are the dunks i got um i feel like they have a specific name i'll put them on the screen <laughs> because as a girly who is new to the sneaker life i don't really know all i know is that they're dunks and then it ends there moving right along still on shoes this is the bash order that i went to get today um these are my running shoes. These are actually not sneakers. These are running shoes. They're trainers, actually. They're not really running shoes. They're trainers. I was talking to Mika because I know Mika is like a gym girly. So I'm like, girl, if I if I, I want to buy like shoes I can use to run, but I can also use should I decide to go to gym because you guys know that I do play tennis. So I just wanted a versatile shoe because like I know there are shoes specifically for running and there's shoes specifically for gym. So she just suggested that I get trainers and that is what I did. These are cute. So I got these. These are, this one I know the name. These are the MC Trainer 2s. Size 4 once again. And these are actually quite cheap. I think I got them for 1.4 which I feel like is fairly cheap compared to the prices that I was seeing in store. The 2000s, 2.5s. 3k. I'm like for someone who can't even run one kilometer without running out of breath like i do not deserve trainers worth 3k so i just thought let me just get something that that's just gonna work but it's still cute like it's a very versatile color like i didn't get anything fancy schmancy but then they're cute oh and still on my trainers not to make something out of nothing but then like on sunday when i told my sister that i'd ordered these shoes um we got into talking about how like in primary high school um, we were the kids who always had like the North Star tackies from like the same ones from primary all the way through high school While other people's parents were buying them Nike, Puma, Reebok as well So this kind of feels like I'm feeding, you know, my inner, I wouldn't say inner child, let's say inner teenager Inner child, inner teenager, whatever Like, I'm not even gonna lie, this feels good Like it feels good that I can now buy myself the things that I didn't Get to have growing up. Moving right along. I think actually that's why I never like it took me a while to get into sneakers and stuff like that. Because like I never had them growing up, so it wasn't really a big deal for me. Like a shoe was just a shoe. But then now <laughs> Being friends with people who take shoes so seriously, I'm now like, okay, no, 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 I can't be just wearing, you know, <laughs> random sneakers. Like, I need to make my friends proud. So, this actually came in today from Shelf Life. This is something I also ordered online, but then it, it arrived in the morning today just as I was about to head out. And of course, it's the same color box as the box we had. Actually, let me stack my boxes here. Stack my babies. 
Stack, stack, stack. Okay, let's stack like this. Stack, 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 my baby. So, hey, stacked. From Shelf Life, we got another pair of dance. I will say another scent. Like, you can really tell I am not a sneaker girl. Like, everybody scream because this is so new for me. Um, so, oh my word. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys, this is my first time seeing them because, well, I saw them online, but then I didn't know that they would be like glossy. Uh, oh, ah. Oh. These are so sexy! Ah, oh, these are so gorgeous. Girl, like, I don't know a thing or two about sneakers, but then I do know that this is gorgeous. I think I low-key actually like it better than... No, I'm lying. No, I'm telling the truth. I definitely love these more than the initial ones. And obviously in size 4 as well. Ah. Oh. Oh, these are so gorgeous. Like, I hope the camera is doing it justice. That's that on shoes. Like, I just got two pairs of sneakers, one pair of trainers. And then from Forever New, this was actually influenced by Grace from TikTok. My bestie got, but I think she got the black one. I saw this color and I was just like blown away. Like, wow. And the fact that it was only 600 Rand, like these bags at Aldo, at Steve Madden are anything north of 1000 Rand. Like you can't get something this pretty for less than 1K. So I was like blown away. Even the quality is just so insane. And it does come with a strap that you can like carry it, you know. But then I think I love it like this. This is something that screams class about holding the bag like this of course you're not gonna go to cbd like that but you you get the point you get the gist and then obviously to go with my trainers since i'm in my running era influenced by my bestie mika congratulations to mika guys i am so proud of my friend she's working with cotton on body so of course i had to when it came to me deciding what gym wear what active wear to get it was a no-brainer that i was gonna shop from cotton on um to support my bestie so i got these fleece tights because i'm planning on running in the morning i don't like the cold so these are fleece inside which is so cool because they're very warm. These the, these are very penny though. These were like 700 grand. And then the top was like 500 grand. That's already like one point something. But then this is also fleece inside. It's the top for, the, for these tights. And then these ones were cheaper because they're not fleece lined. I just thought for the warmer days, let me just get a regular set. So these are shorts, bike shorts and then another long sleeve top but then it's also not fleece lined so i just got two to start out for now because i thought there were so many gorgeous colors and like but then the nice colors didn't have my size they're just like bigger sizes but there were so many gorgeous colors and i thought that you know what let me let's 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 do an roi type vibe here return on investment and see because i could buy all the stuff and then like not run <laughs> I'm like, no, let's start with two sets for now, get into the running, and then when I start to run, like, let's say, 5k, 7k, then we can bump up by, like, you know, two or three more sets. So, um, I do have a bridal shower tomorrow, so that's going to be a whole other vlog. That's going to be next week's vlog, actually. For now, we're going to call it a day. <laughs> 